What is up, awesome people? And welcome to a kind of brand new short play esque short play. I, I don't really know where this is kind of going because I've already got short plays on Monday fully fooled. And so I'm kind of thinking this is going to be a thing for either Thursday or Friday. If it's going to be Thursday, it's going to be something to do with thing we think. Thursday or Friday could be something to do with just Friday shenanigans. But anyways, as you can probably tell, we are playing Pokemon Go. Now, I will apologize for the very first part of this video because obviously the voice recording is going to be a lot better and the video recording is going to be a lot more dodgier because I've got to use my HDR camera at the start and then we're going to be going to something like a GoPro afterwards for the remainder of the short play. So anyways, we have the introduction of Pokemon Go. So meet Professor Willow, who's going to be our professor for Pokemon Go. So we're going to go through with the whole introduction saying, did you know that this world is inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon? Well, if I didn't know that, I don't think I'd be playing this app. But anyways, Pokemon can be found in every corner of the earth. Some run across the plains, others fly through the skies, and some live in the mountains or in the forest near or near water. I have spent my whole life studying them and their regional distribution. Will you help me with my research? That's great. I was looking for someone like you to help. You'll need to find the collect, or find and collect Pokemon from everywhere. Now choose your style for your adventure. So just like the main games, we get to choose between male or female um, avatars. So of course, I have tits and all that. So I'm going to play as the female avatar. So from here, it's kind of pretty basic character creation. You can change your skin tone using the uh, face icon there. For your hair, you can change um, using hair. So this is currently sitting at the dark brown. I'm kind of more of an in-between the blonde and brown. I don't know if they're going to... Oh, wow, you can get violet. That's pretty cool. You can get blue, brown. Oh, that's kind of like orange. Uh, that's very dark brown, blonde. Oh, okay, they don't have my particular hairstyle. Go figure. Um, looks like you can't change the hairstyle, which is kind of unfortunate. Maybe that's something down the track. Um, that's actually pretty correct. I'm more of an in-between blue and green hat. We have, kind of looks like uh, one of the hats from Black and White, I do believe. We have that style, and we have, yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, wow, the caps are pretty boring for the females. All right, so let's go with our outfit. We've got our top. What have we got? Not much to choose from. I uh, will stick with that then. What have we got for pants? Oh, sorry, that's leggings. We have black. Yeah, we're sticking up with that. And then we've got our shoes. Yeah, we'll go with that one. And our backpack. And again, not much of a variety here. Actually, I might go with that one. Alright, so that's going to be our avatar for Pokemon Go. Alright, so there is a Pokemon nearby. Here are some Pokeballs. These will help you catch one. And there we go. We have Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur. So the three starter Kanto Pokemon. So for this, I'm going to be switching from uh, everything we've got set up here to do this next part. So give me one second. Alrighty, so we're currently in the GoPro situation. So hopefully this is coming out quite well. Otherwise, I'm going to have to spend a couple of episodes trying to fix this. But here is our starter Pokemon. So we have the choice between Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur. So for those of you who have seen Kit Knight's channel where I joined in with him for his Pokemon Go adventure would know that he chose Squirtle and ran into like a whole bunch of walls and bathtubs and a whole bunch of good stuff trying to catch it. So for this one I'm either going to go with Bulbasaur or Charmander but I think I'm going to have to go with like the old childhood memories and go with Bulbasaur because I went with Bulbasaur when I first started playing Pokemon. Which is quite weird because everyone went for Charmander. Alright, so use your camera to find Pokemon in the real world. Try it out. You can turn off with the AR button anytime. Yes, please. So here we are. We're in my office. And there's the Bulbasaur floating in like mid-air. What are you doing in mid-air, Bulbasaur? That is so strange. So it's trying to use Vine Whip on me. And there we go. There's our catch. And there's like my Wii U cleaner down there that I had to wait a week for so I could do Pocket Tournament. Alright, so there we go. There is our Bulbasaur caught. So we get 100 Stardust and every time you catch a Pokemon, you get these little candies related to that Pokemon. So if you catch a Pidgey, for example, which you're probably going to find loads of, you get Pidgey candy. Now these go towards either, I think, training up your Pokemon 
or evolving your Pokemon. So for Squirtle, you needed 25 Squirtle candy to evolve it, whereas I'm assuming it might be 25 Poke candy again for raising up a Bulbasaur into Ivysaur. You also get experience, so you get 100 experience for a Pokemon caught. New Pokemon is an extra 500, and if you get like nice or great catches, that's extra experience as well. I think it's like 10 experience for a nice catch. And I might be a little bit more for Greg, I'm not really too sure. So there we go, there is Pokemon 001 Bulbasaur. So you go through all these stats here, so you grass poison type Pokemon. Now it goes through and tells you if they're a average size Bulbasaur in regards to height or weight. So I've got an extra large in weight and height. Um, also goes through 100 Stardust and 3 Bulbasaur candy. That's how much I think you have for that particular Pokemon. Um, Stardust just accumulates all over as well. And here we go, we have Power Up. We need 200 Stardust for that and we need 1 Bulbasaur candy in order to do that. And as I said to evolve, we need 25 Bulbasaur candy for that. We also have its moves. We have Tackle and Power Whip. I thought it was uh, Vine Whip, but that's cool as well. That's quite powerful, actually. And then we have whereabouts we caught our Pokemon, at what date we caught the Pokemon, as well as um, a transfer option, which I have no idea what that is. So, cool, let's get on to that. So, congratulations, you caught yourself your first Pokemon. You are such a talented Pokemon trainer, what should I call you? And then from here, you can just call yourself whatever. So, hopefully no one's taken my name, because that will really suck balls if they have. Done. Only letters can be loud. Okay, that's fine. Let's just go with Lady Crimson with no space in it then. Okay. Are you sure to be called Lady Crimson? I sure do. There we go. Oh, cool. What a, what a cool nickname. Nice to meet you. You'll need more Pokeballs and other useful items during your exploration. You can find items at Pokestops, which is usually your well-known tourist attractions around your local area. So there's quite a lot where I live, which is really good. So again, referring back to Pimp Night's video as well, um, as you probably saw, we went through quite a bit. Our CBD has a lot of Pokestops. The beach has a lot of Pokestops, something like that, where I, usually I'd say check your CBD for a lot of that good stuff. Art uh, I can't talk. Art museums would be another good one as well. So Pokeballs, you can find eggs there as far as I'm concerned. Um, and I don't know if you find anything else, but it'd be, um, be worth checking out quite a fair bit of them. Um, they found at interesting places like sculptures or monuments. From now on, you'll be exploring all over the world. I hope you get out there and catch Pokemon and register them in your Pokedex. It's time to go! That pun. Alright, so time to walk. Move in the real world to move your avatar. So, it looks like, like this is all based on the map, so I'm, I'm guessing this is taking it from Google Maps or something like that. So as you can see, there's like Pokemon gyms all the way out here. You need to be, I think, level 5 in order to challenge them. There's a Pidgey, there's a Jigglypuff. Um, as you can see there as well, there is a Pokestop. So I'm actually not too sure what that is because I've not long moved here as well. So I'm not really too familiar with the monuments here. So this is going to be a little experience for me as well. And as well, you might have actually seen, or I hope you can see, um, there's been some rustling grass as well as I'm like flicking through the overworld. That means there's a chance of a Pokemon around there from what I've seen as well. So you click down here and we have a Poliwag nearby. That's really cool. And I'm not even near the beach at this point in time. So you can click on that, I think. And I don't know if that just gets rid of it or if it's looking for that Pokemon. Might be doing some pretty cool stuff I'm not aware of. Alright, so we've got the menu as well. We have Pokemon, we have items, we have the shop, and we have the Pokedex. So let's quick take a quick... Oh, okay, I can't actually see the remainder of the Pokedex, but so far we have Bulbasaur, we've caught one and seen one. From there, we've also got our Pokemon, so we can go through there. And as you can tell, we can hold 250 Pokemon, I think it is. And when we go to Poke Spots, we can collect eggs, so we can hold nine of them at max. To hatch an egg, you'll need to use the egg incubator, which is found in your items. So when you go into items, you see you've got your incense, you've got two of those at the start. So incense with a mysterious fragrance that lures wild Pokemon to your location for 30 minutes. So if you can't be bothered walking at a long distance, you can use that. And for 30 minutes, you should be able to find Pokemon in that close uh, vicinity, is what I'm kind of getting from it. You have 50 Pokeballs, you have a camera, so when you're catching Pokemon, you can photograph them. And there is your egg egg incubator so you can incubate them while you use uh, while you walk and all that unlimited use which is really good so you can hatch quite a fair bit of eggs hopefully we can go through and show that feature since we didn't show off that feature when i went through pimp line um 
And the shop, of course, is where you can buy uh, Pokeballs for Poke Dollars. You can buy your incense. You can buy Lucky Eggs, which I've got no idea what they do. Lure modules. I again, no idea what that does. Egg incubators. I have no idea why you want to do that. You can upgrade Pokemon storage, your bag storage, and then of course you can buy your Poke Coins for real life. Real world money. Yeah, I can't say it because I, I really hate using the feature. So yeah, um, hopefully with the Poke Stops, you shouldn't need to do that because you can just keep stocking up on Pokeballs, especially if you've got a lot of Poke Stops around you like I do. I mean, there's some Pokemon there, but that's that's typically in someone's backyard, which really sucks. So anyways, um, I'm going to do another cut, and that should go to us. Um, I'll be joined with Pib9 again, we'll go out and we'll find some Pokemon probably along the beach or along some monuments um, around our local area. So let's just jump straight into that. Alright, so we're going to do a little bit of walking around to see if there's any local Pokemon around and it's raining at the same time, god figure. So this is going to be interesting. I mean, go adventure so hopefully we're not going to have any sound issues I did notice that the previous parts I'm a little bit quiet so hopefully with the wind and the waves going and you hopefully be able to hear me so while we're driving we managed to find a few Pokemon I found as I said I found the PG before we left and now I've caught two Rattata on the way here so 
I caught, racked up a bit of Ratata candy as well. So at the moment we've got six Ratata candy. Um, each Pokemon capture, it looks like you get three candy each. So that's a good thing because we need 25 uh, Ratata candies to evolve it into a Raticate. So to get the uh, Ratata candy, we're obviously going to need to catch multiples of one Pokemon. But I don't think we're going to find any Ratata along this very windy and very choppy beach at the moment. I mean, it is, it's pretty pretty at the moment, but it's extremely on the bit on the cold side. Um, yeah, it's pretty cold for me. Other people might disagree. So I guess all we can do is just walk along the beach and see what we find. Um, well, apparently I can catch Rattata, but I'm not quite on the beach yet. So for that, we need to walk down onto the beach and we'll start walking along it. Try not to get wet and swept into the ocean and see what we can find. A bit and this one has poison sting and it has struggle hive woohoo alrighty so that's pretty cool so apparently uh whoa I just got earned a medal so register five Pokemon in the Pokedex I think that's for the Kanto medal so that's pretty cool alright so that was pretty hype um so we'll continue walking down the beach and see if we can find anything else and hopefully the insects kicks in and we'll be able to catch some quite a amount of Pokemon around it. If you hold it and wait to release it as the circle is getting smaller, it looks like that makes a, a difference on the quality of your catch. Alright, so we got three Zubat candy this time, bit of experience and 10 extra for the nice um, catch. So in total we have six Zubat candy and we need 50 to get a Golbat. Unless I get lucky enough like we did a Pit Nights video to find a Golbat. So a quick attack and air cutter. 
whole time. See, look there, it says magic car. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know, like I haven't worked out the nib. Oh, maybe it's difficulty. Three means harder to find. Magic car is hard to find? Yep. What? That's my guess anyway. All right, we found. We found a Pidgey. I overshot it. Oh, what's Ben doing in there? Get in, Pidgey. Yeah, no, you're all of you. Yeah. <laughs> that freeze frame. All right, there we go. There's ourselves another Pidgey. It's a shame I wanted a Spear, eh? All right, so we've got six in total. So we could power it up if I want to, but I think we might save that for evolving. All right, so let's keep going. Oh, we got ourselves a Spiro, as I was just admiring the scenery too. All right, so Spiro, get in my boat. Oh, I overshot it. Oh, my bad. Get in my... Oh, I should overshot again. Spiro. Here we go. There we go. Get in my bowl. Oh. And enjoy the scenery as well. It is pretty nice and it's also like sprinkling a little bit. It's warm and sprinkling. It's getting wet now. It's getting rained on. Alright, so what I do for you guys. Ow. I'm gonna rain drop my eye. That's your effort. It's hard, raining now. now. It's raining quite hard. All right, maybe we can find a magic car on the way back. So yes, it's just started raining on us. Unfortunately, this is a really bad day to go looking for Pokemon. I was kind of hoping to see a Gyarados. All right, here comes the rain. Looks like Kyogre's just invaded. Oh, Staryu! Staryu hide! Woohoo! That's Staryu! Oh, that was oh, I got it! Holy crap, I'm a star! Woo! That was cool! Now I'm getting wet! Alright, I got a curveball bonus! Wow, that's pretty cool! So it looks like they also judge you on your throws as well! Alright, Star You, we got some Star You candy and we need 50 to evolve into a Star Me as well! Alright, that's cool! So let's keep walking. Hopefully before we reach the car again, and before it starts getting really heavy, we should have find a few more rare, other rare Pokemon as well. That would be really cool. Otherwise it wouldn't mean, I, well, it hasn't been a complete waste. I mean, it would be nice to use the full 30 minutes of my incense. Alrighty, so I hope you guys enjoyed that day one, sorry, well, technically day two coverage of Pokemon Go, but that was my day one personal coverage of Pokemon Go. So, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, um, there are quite a bit of quiet moments at in that video, which I do apologize for. I wasn't exactly too sure how my GoPro would turn out with the sound quality. I know in regards to the... Uh, the quality of the actual video was going to be quite pristine for an actual GoPro recording a mobile But in regards to the sound department, I wasn't 100% too sure what was going to happen And as I was also noted, I'm in the process of fixing that with some equipment being ordered in for that So overall, what are my first impressions of Pokemon Go? Well, not really first impressions because I did do the whole 
Pokemon Go experience with Pit Knight on day one and including today's experience with my own video and including Pip Knight's experiences as well with his two uploads. I think he's uploading two videos tonight. It'll be the beach experience and then our uh, another experience we had which was driving around again at night and I think a little bit later after I record this and after we've uploaded those two videos, we are going for yet another drive around at night. So if that is the case, I may have another Pokemon Go video to upload either tonight if I feel like it or I might put it as I said I might dedicate the series to maybe Friday or something so I can just separate the whole schedule thing going out and we have a Friday upload which would be really cool um, even though I am planning about returning streaming to Friday so yeah what are my overall experiences this is actually a pretty fun game um, as you'll prob probably tell when you watch Pink Knight's version of the second uh, night drive we actually just found another feature that is really um, immersive it's quite um, kind of game-changing actually it's really good because it's involving other people who have Pokemon Go that's our theory to it but it is really cool I don't really want to spoil it in case you haven't seen that um, but as I said it's really good immersion you immerse with the Pokemon um, as far as catching them at the moment it may seem pretty basic but it's still quite fun I mean I feel after the hype dies down, the game may not have so much to drag in new players, but for those who are willing to go out and walk around or even cycle around or drive around, which is still possible, but it is still quite hard driving around. I still prefer walking around and catching my Pokemon. Um, it is definitely worth it for those who plan to do this, this properly. I mean, I, I, if with that beach experience, you probably could tell I was starting to go a little bit out of breath. Um, there was a bit of wind around. We were walking on beach, which for those um, not who know, beach is quite hard to walk on. You use up so much energy trying to trek through the sand. Um, so that was quite tiresome. Plus commentating on top, I was using so much energy, which is grand because I've just come off physiotherapy um, rehabilitation for my legs so of course I'm using so much energy I'm not used to I haven't done for so long so I guess it's a good thing and a bad thing um host I also at the same time I do plan to do a lot of Pokemon Go by myself because I, as I said because I'm doing rehabilitation and physiotherapy I have to do quite a bit of walking uh, to strengthen the muscles in my legs so there should be quite a bit of Pokemon Go coming from me personally however I'll be uploading them on, as I said, maybe Thursday or Friday, depending on what the schedule is um, going at that point in time. So that'll be a good thing. And as I said, um, hopefully at the end of the month, Pokemon Go will have better features coming, like with more Pokemon at the moment, it's featuring the Kanto Pokedex only. And the servers are having major problems. I mean, we didn't experience a bit of server lag. The server did drop out as well. So hopefully that's also fixed by hopefully the end of the week or something, or definitely by the end of the month we'd hope but yeah that uh, i do expect a little bit more from pokemon go it definitely has a lot of potential it doesn't feel wasted it's going in that right direction it's just seeing and testing the waters to see if people really do like this virtual reality um or yeah virtual reality or, or an augmented reality i'm not really too sure where this sits it feels more like argumented reality because we're not like with the virtual reality goggles or anything like this. This is kind of territory I'm not really familiar with. But anyways, I've dribbled on enough. Um, so you may expect another video from me today or tonight. Otherwise, it'll be tomorrow or later today, depending on your time zone. So anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed Pokemon Go. Let me know if you want to see more of this or anything I can do to improve it. I definitely am working on trying to improve the whole GoPro system that definitely needs improvements but as I said it's kind of just testing the waters figuring out the actual equipment itself because I've never used a GoPro before in my life so it's all new to me as well so anyways guys that's it for me until next time this is Letty Crimson saying ciao for now and not forever ciao